Hey everybody, it's uh, John Melby, and uh, welcome to episode one of the Danger Zone Life podcast. Uh, I'm an air show pilot, and uh, I've got a lot of experience on how to manage fear in my life, and I'm going to be doing some uh, podcasts here that is basically about that. I have a bunch of different things that we're going to be doing uh, throughout the series of this, and a bunch of different episodes. And so I'm going to go into my hangar and uh, talk a little bit more, but first... Listen to this intro. I'll be right back. So here's the deal. Life is like a roller coaster ride, but there's a secret to having a fear-free life. A life that's outside of your comfort zone, where it's fun, exciting, and dream-fulfilling. That life is in the danger zone. Hi, my name is John Melby. I'm a professional aerial pilot, and this podcast will teach you the secrets and the tricks that have a life in the danger zone. Okay, we're back. Again, my name is John Melby. And uh, welcome to episode one of the Danger Zone Life podcast series. I'm a professional aerial pilot. I've been one since 2002. And my, my reason why I'm having this podcast series is to be able to talk to you about fear, fear management, and all the different things that are associated with that. Because as a pilot, and I've been doing this for so long, I have a lot of people ask me, how can you do that? How can you fly so close to the ground and tumble through the air and do all this stuff? And not be afraid. Well, sometimes I am afraid, and sometimes I have to go out and try new maneuvers, and it's pretty scary. But I've learned throughout many, many years how to manage my fear just from experience. A little bit about my background. I'm only going to talk about this once or twice during this entire series, but just kick it off so you understand where I'm coming from. So I started uh, when I was younger. I started playing ice hockey at four years old. I was a freestyle skier. I did slalom and giant slalom racing. I was a motocross racer. Um, and then I started flying airplanes at 19 years old, and that's because I saw a guy by the name of Bob Hoover fly when I was 12 years old, and I thought, wow, that's really cool. This guy was doing grandpa-type aerobatics, real basic stuff, but it was so cool how he did it, and it just inspired me. I wanted to become a, a pilot and then ultimately become an airshow pilot. But that takes time, and it takes money, and so uh, prior to that, I was in the United States Air Force. I flew with the 8th Special Operations Squadron on MC-130s, which is a big four-engine turboprop plane, and I did special operations work uh, with the CIA, Delta Force, SEAL Team 6, 7, and 8, Army Special Forces. And that was an incredible period of time. And I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that I was in the United States Air Force and as an American and to be a veteran. And that, but that honed a lot of my, uh, at a young age, how to deal with fear from a very young age all the way through the Air Force. And when I started flying at 19 years old, I really started getting into it where I had to go push in and just start doing new things. So in my life time, I've done a lot of really unique things, which is not the norm. And so this whole air, this whole podcast series is basically about fear management and all the different categories that have to do with fear that I've had to deal with and the areas that I've either dealt with or have not dealt with. I'm going to have some of my friends and people that I know join this podcast series, and we're going to interview them. And we're going to find out what is it that they did in order to become the greatness that they are, punch it through the fear to be able to fulfill their dreams. And while I'm here in the hangar, real quick, I'll just show you a little bit. Uh, here's a, this is called a Beechcraft Bonanza. This is a four-seat airplane. Um, you, can, you can use it for uh, uh, aerobatics because they only built 26 of these. This is a 1969 Beechcraft Bonanza. It's got leather interior, it has all the instruments you need to fly in the clouds, and it also has an oxygen system, so you can go up really high if you want. It's retractable gear, so you can see the gear comes up and down. And the plane that I do most of my work in is here, and this is called a Pitts S-111B. Um, currently, I'm, I'm flying for a, a company called Hangar 24 Craft Brewing Company, which is all in reverse here, but um, you can, this is the, the airplane that I fly. It's a high horsepower and it's uh, about 350 horsepower, and that airplane cruises about 200 miles an hour, does nine Gs positive, and then it also does about four, four or five negative Gs. And what that means is G loads is nine times the weight in gravity. So if I'm driving toward the ground at 200 and some miles an hour and I pull back on the stick, my body wants to keep going towards the center of the earth, but the airplane does not. And so it causes all the blood in my head to leave. And then ultimately, if you're not prepared for it, all the blood leaves your eyes, leaves your head, and you go unconscious. So as an airshow pilot, I take this one, and I do about eight, in eight and a half minutes, I do 26 maneuvers. So I'm bouncing all over the place and tumbling the airplane, but that's just years of experience. And I've had to press through on every single one of those maneuvers over time, learn how to be able to overcome my fear. So that's what this podcast series is about. 
and I hope you stick with it. And as I improve and I get better and I learn how to do this, you'll see me driving around a lot because I think more clearly and I've got ideas and I'll, I'll do it while I'm driving. And then also I'll have some sit down podcasts with a full podcast studio and I'll be interviewing with some of my friends. So as you, if, just stick with me with this and, and help me along, review it, rate it on either iTunes or on Google and then also on YouTube. And I want to hear what you have to say. And you can always go to John Melby, J-O-N-M-E-L-B-Y.com. And there's lots of resources there and ways you can communicate with me. That and on social media. All right. Thanks for joining me. And we'll talk to you soon. Do you want to learn more about how to live life in a danger zone? My name is John Melby, and I'm a professional aerial pilot. Go to my website at johnmelby.com and I'll give you a free guide on how to deal with the unknown along with other resources on how to manage fear in your life to make you a more confident, successful you.